Facing our biggie, Gaylord and Grayling. It's been a few years since these two locked horns, and they're going to do it again at Gaylord High School Friday night. Tell us, tell us what you know about that one. Well, it's going to be really interesting. Two teams that came off with some big shutout victories. I thought Gaylord with their 40 nothing win over Sheboygan was one of the more impressive and kind of shocking, I thought, uh, outcomes of the weekend. But I think that's just a testament to uh, Will Cleaver and his ability to transform a program, which you can see already in the second year that he's been able to do. He's going to have to do it against a, a Grayling team that's been known for its offense the last few years, but maybe is a defensive-minded team, having lost a bunch of their uh, key offensive cogs. But pitching the shutout against Ross Common 39-0, you've got to wonder uh, the Vikings are going to be a tough defensive squad for Gaylord. Great crossover matchups, keeping the rivalries intact in Lelong County between Glen Lake and Sutton's Bay. The Lakers and Norsemen go at it on Friday night. Yeah, it's going to be strange having these two teams having been rivals for so long. Now here they are in, in opposite divisions. But, you know, Glen Lake coming off not having had a game last week, and now here you've got Sutton's Bay with a, a strong victory under their belt. And, and frankly, I thought Sutton's Bay might be one of the teams to beat in that smaller division. But we don't want to forget the Elks and the Blazers. They usually play the last game of the season, but because of the scheduling quirks, they're now the second game of the season against each other. Yeah, obviously two teams, you don't want to start 0-2. I don't know what the percentages would be for teams that ever start 0-2 and, and, and end up going to the playoffs, but i got to imagine it's going to be pretty small. And then you've got Elk Rapids. i got a, a team there that I thought in the big division might be one of the teams to beat in that, that part of the NMFL. And for them to start out 0-2, that would be uh, kind of...